Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lower Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the file chooser in Android application. Uh, this is a particular library that provides a file explorer to let users select files on external storage. Uh, this is a framework whereby you get to uh, uh, have a functionality whereby the user will be able to pick up any type of files, you know, either PNG, either JPEG, either zip, no name it. And you can actually be directed to the right part to select the, the particular file uh, file in question. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I have my source file and I'll be explaining in details how to uh, incorporate or how to have a file chooser application in right inside. This is just like a snippet. What about you going to uh, include this into your robust application? Uh, and, the, and you can actually extend more on this uh, application. One can actually extend more on this particular uh, uh, snippet. What about you going to make use of the file chosen? Right there in my in Android Studio, I have the source file of this particular application. The build gradle is maintained. No, we actually didn't... Uh, include any external dependencies most of the library are right inside the java classes i'll be looking at the layout which is the rest the layout we only have a file xml what about we have it as a text view uh that has a style on its file chooser name and the layout with an item are all matching the parents we have drawables whereby we have the ic chooser png the IC file PNG, the folder, and the IC provider. I'll be moving straight to the Java classes where we have uh, the main activity of this particular application, the local storage provider, the file utilities, the file loader, the file list fragment, the file list adapter, and the file chooser activity. Let's look at the main activity of this application. We imported the activity, the activity not found exception. The intent on click list now, button toast, view log, bundle, and URI. Our main activity extends activity where we create a final string called main activity and a request code of 6384. Our uncreate method call on the super uncreate save instant state, whereby we create a simple button to start the file chooser process. By creating a button object, setting the text, and setting an unclick listener to this. Why doing this is going to call a show chooser method. What about the set content view is on the button? The show chooser method is going to use the get content intent from the utility class. This calls for the file utils uh, class. We create a get content intent from that. We create a chooser whereby we create the chooser intent with a target, lorem ipsum, there's a, from the string choose title, the choose title. We are going to have a try and catch method here. We're going to start the activity for results, passing the intent and the request code. Whereby we're going to catch the activity not found exception, the reason for the existence of a file chooser. On activity results that after the file chooser might have been uh, the file might have been chosen, you're going to have the request code, the result code, and the intent data. Whereby there's a switch statement based on the request code. If the request code, that's the case now, if the file selection was successful, that's if the result code equals to OK. A nested if statement, if the data is not equal to null, the get URI of the selector files will be done. How about you get the URI, you get the data of the selected file. Now there is a try and catch right inside the if statement. How about we going to get the five parts from the URI? The parts from the URI. If successful, there is going to be a toast message, you know, telling that there is a file selected and the parts to the file. This is where you can actually extend more on the source file. Whereby you've been able to get the URI to the particular file. You can decide to do anything with it. Probably upload to the server or, or upload it to a text view or rather if it's an image to an image view or if you really want to just save it somewhere 
you can actually do that from here based on the result code the re request code and also the intent data now if it's not successful the file selector text activity is going to call an error you have the on activity result this is just the main activity there are a lot of things going on in the background in the process of choosing the file what about this takes us down to the file utilities where we imported the content resolver the content URIs, the cursor the database utils bitmap android os environment these are all android libraries and even the java library where we talk about the file filter the decimal format and the comparator we have the file utils constructor is a private constructor to enforce singleton pattern we have a tag called file utils and we set to true which is the boolean debug you can set to true to enable logging but by default it's false we have different mime types for audio for text for image for video and for app is our audio text image video application there's a get extension how about you get the URI? If the URI equals to null, it returns null. Whereby we have the integer dots, whereby the URI calls on the last index of the dots. Now, if the dot is greater than or equals to zero, the URI is going to return the substring of the dot. Else, uh, it's going to return no extension. We have its local, whereby it's going to point to the HTTP or HTTPS based on uh, the kind of. Uh, URL being called. We have the is media URI method. This is a Boolean method whereby it's going to return the media equals to the ignore case and gets the authority. We have the get URI. We have the get path without file name. These are all methods that have been called right in the file details class. We have the get mime type. And so on. Even the get part, whereby you get the file, the authority, the fragment, the part, the query, the scheme, the host, and the segments. I'll be looking at the file chooser activity. We imported the fragment activity, the fragment manager from the support version 4, the broadcast receiver, the intent, and the insert filter. The chooser activity extends fragment activity and implements on backstack change listener inclusively with the file list fragment callbacks. Whereby we set a path and the external base path based on the environment to get the external storage directory, that's the memory card, and get its absolute path. Our own create method call or the super on create, save instance state, uh, where we instantiate the M fragment manager. And add the on backstack chain listener to it. If the save instance state equals to null, the path will be set to the external base path, and the add fragment method will be run. Else, the save instance is going to get a string and the path in question. We have the on pause, the on resume, the life cycle of an activity, the on backstack changed. It's going to have a count you no know, to get the backstack entry of each fragment we have the uncreate options menu that if it has an action bar it's going to get the backstack control entry count if it's greater than zero it's going to pass it to the as backstack the same thing goes with the action bar where it's going to set the display up enabled the option Item selected based on the home. We only have one ID. As the add fragment method that was called earlier, this is going to check for the file list fragment based on this new instance, and it's going to begin transaction. I would like you to go through all these uh, source files. These are actually run running at the background calls. The same thing goes for the local storage provider, where you have uh, a local storage set for the particular file chosen whereby you have the authority that calls on the 
package and adds the documents to it. Because of time, I'll be going through all other Java classes at this moment. I would like you to go through them and uh, acclimatize with how each one of them, you know, are being used with each other because they all have a handshake with each other. But looking at the manifest, the Android manifest, there is a permission. They read external storage. Very, very important. The same thing goes with the hardware accelerated. It must be true. We have the launcher activity, which is the main activity. And now you need to register the necessary activities. The file chooser activity, very important. With an intent filter to get content. The same thing goes with the category. It must be default and open neighborhood. The MIME type should be specified as well. The data, the data Android. Now you close your intent filter. You have to select it this way. We gave it a drawable from the IC chooser. Now we have a provider, which is the local storage provider that keeps storage of uh, the particular file chosen. It's authorities, you know, that goes to the documents. That's an enabled, there's a Boolean XML that must be enabled. The grant URL permission, true. As a permission to manage documents, you no. Know. It has an intent filter as well, which is a document provider. You have to specify them this way before the file chooser will be able to dig in deep to any storage uh, partition in the Android device to pick out the selected uh, file, any file type you might think of. No, this file chooser is actually going to support it. I'll be uploading the source file to my GitHub account and I'll be showing you screenshots of this because I actually tested it on a real device. You can try it on an emulator too, but I recommend you to use a real device. Here go with the application. We have a select file button. A click on this is going to take us down to open from different formats of your, from your device, either from Google Drive, images, audio downloads, gallery, photos, files, music, WPS Office, and so on, based on the kind of applications you have on your Android device. I click on the internal storage, which is on the files. That takes me to the internal storage of the device. A click on internal storage will still dig in deep to give you subfolders right inside it, which we have the alarms, the Android, the data, the DCM, the downloads. A click on the download will take you to the files you have in the downloads. We have 20 files right there with no folders. Now, look at the files. Can you see that you're getting in deep into the particular file you really want to pick? So a click on C++ programming PDF ebook actually brought out the toast and give us the URI to the particular file being chosen. The storage, the emulated, zero download C++ programming PDF. Now this can also be improved or you can add more functionality to this probably you need to upload this particular file to the server or if it's a picture you're actually going to streamline the mime type to be either png or jpeg and you can populate this on an image view this is a complete framework for you to incorporate a file chooser in your android application thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.